Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about CCI or craniocervical instability. So you may know that you've got upper neck bones. What you may not know is those vertebrae are different. They're differently shaped, and the upper cervical spine is a unique part of your neck. And it's really designed to try to help keep a bowling ball balanced on a stick. As you might imagine, that's not easy to do. And part of how that works are strong ligaments. You've got ligaments that support looking down and looking up. You've got internal ligaments that support that bowling ball on that stick. And then there are a whole host of other ligaments as well. Now, when these ligaments get stretched or injured, the excessive motion that's allowed can cause problems. And we call that CCI or craniocervical instability. Now, CCI symptoms can include things like uh, headaches, neck pain, dizziness, imbalance, normally centered kind of in the upper neck, but you can have a whole host of other symptoms as well. And those can include things like tachycardia, GI issues, uh, fatigue, brain fog, lots of other things. So what causes these symptoms? Well, really, it's this excessive motion irritating various structures. So that might be irritating the occipital nerves, the upper neck joints, compressing the internal jugular vein, and lots of other structures that can get irritated or injured by the extra motion lead to the symptoms. And there are different CCI types. And this is really critical. You've got to get a specific CCI diagnosis to find out which ligaments are the problem so that those ligaments can be targeted. And surgery could be needed to stabilize everything, but in my experience, most people can be helped with precise injections into those damaged or stretched out ligaments. And that can be through something like a PICL procedure. So if you want more information on how all of that works to avoid surgery, the link is in the description below. So in summary, CCI means that the ligaments that hold the head on are loose. That can cause lots of different symptoms. Those symptoms are caused by the structures that get damaged or irritated. And fixing the issue requires some sort of stabilization, hopefully not surgery. And finally, like, comment, share, subscribe, because that helps me get more and more of this content out to more people.